Welcome to the latest edition of this Newman motor. We have a 32 inch fan made by Flexalite. There's a camera, then the old fan that's 19 and a half inches. This is, this is a composite fan, not like this metallic one, but this is, well, it's got some metal parts, but it's also got composites. Now, the voltage we have on, no load, just resistance, is 144 volt, volts, okay? 144 volts. Now, we're gonna go ahead and turn this machine on. First thing I do is check to see if the connections are in the right positions, that it turns off when the alignment needs to Now I'm going to switch this prong to the other one. And this right. Okay. It will start off slowly. Because it's a bigger fan, it needs more current to turn it on the same RPM. Now, in previous videos, I've had it shown up to 210, 230, whatever volts. Now, the RPM on this is about 95 RPM at max. When I have it set, in, set up optim optimally, I'll list it today. Anyway. All right, now we have this current. We have from 0 0.09, 0 0.08, 0 0.07, to 0 0.05, to 0 0.03, 0 0.07. It will spend most of its time on the higher positions. So right now, let's say the average is between, okay, let's look again, 0.07, 0 0.08, 0 0.07, 0 0.05, 0 0.09. So let's say the average is 0 0.07 amps. And we're drawing those amps, those 0 0.07 amps at 144 volts. Now, remember, this is a bigger fan, so the RPM is going to be lower for a given power you're putting into this. Now compared to other videos, we're using two-thirds as much voltage and about, say, about 50% more amps. So that, that translates into three halves more amps compared to other videos, the, the relatively recent ones. So we're using about the same power in this video in comparison to others. But what's going to happen is we're going to be able to double the voltage with those other batteries. When we take those batteries and put it back in, let's say by doing that, you know it's going to be faster. Now if I short some of this pack, it's going to be slower. That's because we're going to, if we use fewer batteries, it's going to be slower. Now. Say if I do this, right here, obviously it looked like it was going to stop, but it didn't. Now we see that it's slower because we're using less of the pack. But guess how much current we're using? We're actually using more current. We're going from 0 0.09 to 0 0.12, 0 0.9, 0 0.11. Okay. Now let's go back to where we were earlier.
Now, are we going to use less current or more current? As we can see, we're using less, less current, going from 0.05 to 0.06, etc. All right. So apparently, this machine is underpowered in terms of voltage. You can certainly use more voltage to speed it up because right now the frequency of this fan is it's not high enough to account for all the uh, losses when it turns. But when I get the voltage up, it will run more smoothly. It won't be as jittery. Just like when I take it down, I can take it down again. And I'll see if we get the same results. If they're repeatable, I should get. It. A reading here of higher current. We're back. Okay. Point 18, point 13, point 11, point 15, point 03. 0.15, So, less voltage. More voltage. All right, back to this again. results. We still have lower current. 0.06. Alright, so part of the video of this video, okay, I contradicted myself. Earlier I said that if I was going to add more voltage later on, the current would have to go up to match a rudder torque. But apparently the frequency of this motor is too low at the moment to really demonstrate a proportional relationship between, I mean the RPM and the frequency of this motor is too low to show a proportional relationship between voltage and current. Now if I bring this up later on, if I add more voltage and the current stays where it practically is, then we should see that the fan doubles in speed, let's say if we added enough voltage, without doubling the current. If we can manage to do that, that alone shows that we increase the efficiency. Because when it take, you take the speed and double it, the, the, you know, double it, so the power would have to go up by eight times. So obviously, if we're not even doubling the current when we're doubling the voltage, but the, then we're more than doubling the efficiency. Because remember, the power varies by the cube. Now, if I mean, that's the power output of the fan. If the voltage doubles and the current does not double, then it's less than four times. So the efficiency would have to more than double, assuming these relationships maintain. Now, obviously, I can take the wire and go back to half a pack. So using half a pack, I know the efficiency fell. We already know the current was twice as much and we used half the voltage, yet we know the velocity was slower. If we can continue that trend, we know we can increase efficiency for later on. All right, I'm going to show the faster setup later. This is all for now.